Shalom. This Motzei Shabbat, Saturday night, is Tisha B'Av, the fast of the ninth of Av. After the Mara service, we will read the book of Echa, Lamentations, the prophet Jeremiah's lament for the destruction of the temple and the exile of our people. The book begins with the words, Echa Yashva Vadad. How is it that the city, once so full of people, dwells alone? What does Yashva Vadad, dwells alone, mean? It could mean that the city, once bustling with inhabitants, is now deathly silent as the people are now taken away to exile. Rabbi Chaim Shmulevitz, the one-time head of the yeshiva in Israel that I attended, Yeshiva Smir, offers a different explanation. To be Jewish, he says, is to be a giver. Our souls have a need to be able to give to others. When we are deprived of that need, our spirits, our identity is thwarted, our spirits are crushed. When Jerusalem was under siege, the people there could think only of their own survival. They stopped reaching out to others. They became the city that dwelt alone, each survivor isolating to focus on his or her life rather than care about others. When we can rise up to help those around us, we are nurturing our spiritual essence. At the beginning of this week, the Israeli rescue team that had been volunteering in Surfside, Miami, finished its stint of duty. These professionals had dropped everything, flew out to Miami to participate in the mission to locate survivors. Their bravery and dedication made an impact on the rest of the rescue effort, and while they were unable to locate anyone alive, their selfless devotion to their cause makes us all proud to be Jews. There's a story told about a student, Mike, whose very successful older brother once gave him a brand new car for his birthday one year. One day, when Mike was leaving uni, he found a street kid walking around admiring his new car. Is this new car yours? he said. Yes, it is, Mike said. My brother gave it to me as a birthday present. The kid looked astonished. Do you mean your brother gave it to you and it didn't cost you anything? Boy, I wish. And the boy hesitated. Mike smiled. He knew what was coming next. But what the boy actually said took his breath away. I wish I could be a brother like that. When we reach out to help those around us, we become the best version of ourselves. Shabbat Shalom.